Um, I stand here in a very torn way. Uh, it feels like a very weird twist of fate uh, that last year we announced that it would be the last ever Shell AGM. Um, and it almost feels like we've gotten there. Um, and yet, at the same time, we haven't at all. Um, it feels really painful to stand here in the midst of a pandemic knowing um, that Shell uh, continues to meet, continues to have the AGM that they're now having with just two people. Because um, I guess two people can decide what a company that literally influences the entire world um, should do. Um, and so it feels really strange to be here. Um, last year, the question that I posed for the board was what would you do with your free day next year? Um, except today is not a free day, right? We understand that these people don't take any time off, unfortunately. Um, we stand here today because it is not a free day for the countless workers, the countless healthcare um, workers, the doctors, the EMTs, the caretakers, the cleaners, all of the people who have been told that their labor matters right now in this crisis, but their lives do not. We stand here because we know that it is not a free day for the people who are being forced to go into the mines and into the gas fields and continue doing the extraction work in order to create profit for the people in this building. It is not a free day for the people who are out picking our food, for the farm workers, for the laborers who are making sure that we have food on our plate while our governments continue to deny them their dignity and their rights. It is not a free day for the frontline communities who amidst this pandemic still have to fight to protect their land from pipelines and coal projects and all the pollution that they bring because projects created by companies such as Shell um, continue to push forward despite not having the free and prior and informed consent of the communities and at the expense of all of us. It is not a free day for the frontline communities who have been suffering for decades due to the pollution and all of the toxic shit that this company has put into their communities and into their lands and into their waters and into their soils. It is not a free day for the thousands of refugees who are trapped in cages and who are trapped in camps because this country and the other European countries refuse to open their colonial borders and they refuse to take responsibility for people who have been displaced by the war and all of the instability and historical oppression that Europe and the West has exported to their lands. It is not a free day for the black people, the indigenous people, the brown people of the global majority of the earth who continue to die and suffer because of the multiple crises of white supremacy, of colonialism, of racism, of xenophobia, of Islamophobia. It is not a free day for the people who live in the occupied territory of Palestine, of West Papua, of Puerto Rico, and of all other occupied lands on this earth. We understand today is not a free day. And so I stand here today because in the words of the great Ella Baker, we who believe in freedom cannot rest. So, yeah. we who believe in freedom cannot rest. Um, you see, falling is not a neutral act. Anything that falls, does so because it is pulled by the forces of gravity. And so it is time that we see in front of us the market shocks don't do nothing. The market shocks are not enough to make this company fall. The loss of lives and the loss of environments is not enough to make this company fall. The collapse of economies and a global health crisis is still not enough to make this company fall. And so if we want to win we must become that force that pulls this company to the ground. We must become the water that flows the wisdom and the resistance from the frontline communities to the concrete doorsteps of buildings like these. We must become the wind 
that shifts the boundaries of what is now legal and acceptable in the name of profit. We must become fire and declare with all of our rage and all of our generational trauma and all of our love for life and for this planet that if they will not stop, we will make them and we will make them fall. We will bring this corporation and the fossil fuel industry to its knees and we will do it with care and accountability and intersectional approaches and community and healing because that's what the fuck we do. And so with an irrevocable and unmovable and unwielding belief, we will win. So I'm going to try and do a chant with you today. Um, it's going to be a call and response. I'm going to say a word and you just repeat it with me. Are we good? Yes. All right. We. We. We believe. We believe. We believe that. We believe that. We believe that we. We believe that we. We believe that we will. We believe that we will. We believe that we will win. 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 Shall must fall. 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 And we will make sure of it. Thank you.